Steve, what's up, buddy? A little rustling in the background. It's um made a little progress with your matchless lighting reverb. So I did detect some ripple on your filter caps. But despite that, it's not massive. But at some point it's gonna be time to change those guys. They're they're quite old. But in spite of that shortcoming, I'm, I'm still able to reduce the amount of background noise in your reverb circuit by quite a bit. So let's get her warmed up on the Variac. All right, I'll start to dial her up. Let's get her moving. We can see at 40 volts, the filament circuit starts to conduct. 60, there's 80, there's 100, let's take her to 120, there we go. So there she is, um, you could probably see, let's see if I can angle this thing, any? you could probably see the control panel, Let's get her, got the master down. Let's get a guitar plugged in. Let's see if we can make some pleasant noise. I feel like I haven't played in years. So, all right. So look, let's just be, let's be real. Let's just take the master all the way up. So you have a, a little bit of 120 with, um, with the reverb rolled all the way off. And it's not excessive, but it's there. And I've rolled the tubes, I've done the whole thing and it, it just all comes down at, at this point to those to those filter caps, and more on that later. But, so th this is master full up, volume on. Let's see, eight out of ten. Very distorted. Up. There we go. Let's take the reverb up though. <laughs> go through some uh, pickup selector position, so. It's a lot of verb. wise it's it's quite a bit lower than it was prior but obviously with reverb when you're turning your control level up you're just literally taking your guitar signal out of the shielded comfort of its chassis and you're throwing it down a, a couple of leads into a remote area so while it's out there, you're depending on a shielding of the cable to protect it from picking up noise. I mean, you're ostensibly dealing with an antenna 
right to the grid of your of your well with this particular amp right to your phase inverter so that's what we're looking at watch this you hear that noise you want to see what i'm doing get you over here Ooh, cables i'm going to try a new set of cables and see where that takes us this one's fine but the return is that the return i think that's the return side a little crunchy there buddy i've already cleaned the jack so I retention the plugs the whole thing you know so let's see if i can get this noise reduced any further because as it sits it's not bad now but it could be a little better just depends on your threshold for expense versus noise floor. So, just take it from there, my man. I can't believe I just caught this. It may be something, maybe nothing, but they have a plate wire jumped across the socket touching the damn, the damn grid wire. So, it may be something, it may be nothing, but typically this is an issue. So um, I'll make a straight jumper for the grid here, and then I'll run this guy around the edge of the socket, see if that gives us any relief. Bye. And we're back, Steve-O. Got it sorted out, buddy. Turns out the little bit of ripple on the filter caps weren't the main instigator of the issue. Let's see if I can get in here. What you're hearing now is master on 100%, channel volume on 100%. And the noise predominantly is from being in an unshielded chassis. See that? Pretty quiet now. Awesome. Check this out. Let's get your reverb up. By this point, it was intolerable. It's like, you're never going to play it this high, but there's so little noise introduced now. Very pleased. Then full up, there's just some hiss, some plate resistor and uh, tube stuff there getting in the mix. Totally happy with this, man.